right, so today we're just going to be doing a couple of cool kind of VFX type things in MASH um, just to create some pretty pictures really. So I'm just going to start with a little cube, I'm going to pull that down there, I'm going to go to the MASH menu, I'm going to hit MASH, I'm going to get this little MASH editor up and I'm going to just drop it in here, just going to dock it and I'm going to uh, dock in my outliner here as well. It's just how I like to roll. Come on, my. Plonk. Alright, so we've got them both there. Cool. And right, so first things last, let's think about the kind of shape that we want to make. Uh, what can we do? Okay, well, let's get some dynamics going on first of all. So I'm going to go with add a dynamics node in the mash editor. And if we run and add the press plane now, that's just going to fall and drop to the floor. There we go. So I don't want it to do that, I want it to fall onto, well I just want to create a floor really, straight away. Uh, I'm just going to stick this in here, that's going to be our collider. Come on, come on, come on. No mucking about, I ain't got time for this. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of the grid. And then I'm going to go to the bullet solver and into the collider objects. I'm just going to drag in that cube. So if we rewind and play, we're just going to get... These guys falling on the floor here. Brilliant. Um, next thing I'm probably going to think about is the uh, distribution. And for now, I might just make a grid. And I'm just going to spread these out a bit, like so. And I'm going to increase the amount of objects in the grid and generally slow my computer down. And if we play now. Got stuff falling on the floor, so just, just going to go back to the bullet solver, I'm going to turn off gravity, and I believe I might stick a field in, to be honest, so I'm going to select the mesh waiter, uh, I'm just going to go to the effects menu, I'm going to go to fields, and I think I might stick some turbulence in, um, that turbulence field, I am just going to stick it into the dynamics tab, uh, sorry, into the bullet solver, just drag that in there. There we go. We've got a turbulence field. We can see it's connected. So in the turbulence field, it's going to get rid of the attenuation and just try tweaking this up a bit first. I just want to see if we're going to get some dynamics going. Yep, cool. And ooh, the dynamics itself we might get some damping in there. And let's just rewind and play that. Still got a little bit too mad. Let's just bring that turbulence field down somewhat. I might have been a little bit excited with that. Okay, well let's stick some constraints on this dynamics node in the MASH network now. So we're going to come down to the constraints section and I'm just going to go create. And then we'll get a bunch of constraints. There we go. And so we're starting to get something a little bit different looking. And the whole idea today is really just to create something a little bit different looking. Stick some lights in there and render it for our Instagram profiles and make it look like we're doing something. Um, so we've got a few different options in here, glue spring, we've got a motor, that might be fun to play with in a minute, we've got the spring, um, 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 what should we do, what should we do, well, let's just play around with some of these for a minute, so that's the spring, let's make some cool looking shapes, and we could just get to a point where we've got a shape that looks pretty nifty, I think I'm going to go back into distribute node and add some more stuff, because I just want this to look quite uh, technical, a uh, little bit more please, and I'm just going to get that cube and I'm going to scale it down a bit so that we're dealing with teeny tiny cubes, and uh, let's just rewind and play that and see what we get, right, got some stuff going on there, so next step I might, well I might grab this repro mesh, um, and I might emit some particles from it. So we're going to emit from objects. I'm going to turn this to the surface. And I'm going to push this to 500 for now. Go back into the end particle shape. Particle size. Sorry, shading. It's going to go into points. I'm going to change it to spheres. Um, I'm just going to rewind and play. Okay, and I'm going to pull this sphere size down to about 0.20. And kind of there, let's try 6.0. Yep, and now while I'm here, I'm going to 
get that original cube, wherever that bad boy is. Um, just to show the selection in a minute, and I'm just going to right click on here. And I'm using uh, V Ray, so you, you use whatever you want to use, my friend. Right, as soon as I sign a new material, and I'm just going to go to the V Ray tab. Uh, going to add a V Ray MTL, which is going to give color to all the rest of these bad boys. And then I'm going to select the end particle, and I think uh, I'm going to sign a new material in case I want to change my mind about what colour I want them. Da -da -da. Uh, mm, floor, I don't know whether to keep the floor at the moment. We'll see about that. Let's keep playing this. Right, so the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Mesh Network and I'm going to have some trails. I'm going to rewind and start playing. See if we can get some trails showing up, just to make it look even more crazy. Right, so we've got some trails going on down here, but they're only happening down here because our max amount of trails is at 100. So I'm going to stick it up to a grand. Um, it's probably still not going to be enough, but we'll see. So there's a few floors down there, so, well, let's just double it. It kind of makes sense. So I'm going to go 2.5. And play. There we go, that's kind of enough. Now we're starting to get sunk a little bit wacko. Um, and I'm going to obviously grab the trails. And I think I'm going to sign an existing material. I'm going to go V-Ray 1. Um, so just play it for a bit longer. So while I'm doing this, I should let you know, as you probably have noticed by the banner at the top of my channel, that we've changed to Maya Guy. And Maya Guy is... Um, being built at the moment, myguide.com. You can head over to myguide.com at the moment and you can subscribe um, to keep updated about how that website's going. That website is going to be huge. It's um, it's all about my tutorials, in depth my tutorials, not these little finicky tutorials I'm doing here. In depth my tutorials, my assets, um, uh, models, textures, HDRIs, but most importantly, and something I haven't really seen about much, is it's going to have a whole bunch of Maya dynamic files, um, which uh, I'm also including MASH in there, so there's going to be a bunch of MASH files in there, so that any tutorial I do, you can uh, follow along with it, or you can purchase them, uh, just different, what may be difficult things to set up, or things that you just haven't got the time to do, or things that you just want to kind of play around with. And there's also going to be interesting news on there and a little blog as well. So that's myguide.com. I've got a lot of work to do to get up and running. But do head over there and uh, subscribe to that. Right, so lights. I'm going to go V-Ray. Um, uh, no, I'm not going to go lights. I'm going to go create V-Ray, a rectangle light. And I'm just going to get rid of this floor let's just hide that and my light is around here somewhere cool um, and I'm gonna just leave it there for a minute I like to light things moodily if you head over to uh, my Instagram channel I've got a few a couple of Instagram channels, but if you head over to, you can head over to, well, there's My Guy Tutorials, so you can follow us for a start. There's no content yet, but My Guy Tutorials um, is on Instagram as well. But I'm just going to uh, sign it out and sign in to, let's go with my personal one for now. So I'm going to sign in as Phil Radford, which is moi. And in fact, yeah, let's go to my stuff. All right, so here's my Instagram channel, and I do a whole bunch of crazy. This is like billions of particles. Um, we do, I do this kind of stuff, um, and all none of this kind of stuff I've shown you guys yet. I'm saving it for myguide.com. Um, but it's you know a lot of this. This was made in Mash. Um, this is also on my Behance profile. There's loads of digital artwork I do, um, and we're going to cover all of this kind of thing um, over at My Guy. And yes, yeah, so stay tuned. 
and keep watching the channel. Let's get back to this anyway. Let's just set up the settings. So I'm just going to go GI, turn GI on, close that, um, and I'm just going to hit IPR. There we go. So we've already got something that's looking monstrous. Now I love lighting like this um, with this kind of. This, this just looks like a, a camera has just gone in there and just taken a quick flash shot of this stuff. Um, so I'm going to go into options, I'm going to turn that light invisible, and I might crank up the intensity a bit so we're getting a bit of a blowout of the front. Um, yep, it's kind of interesting. Oh, I forgot to turn my particles to. <laughs> We got to turn the particles to not fall through the goddamn sky. So uh, let's just go into the dynamic properties. I'm going to ignore the solver gravity. I'm going to bring that conserve right down. And I'm going to rewind and play this again until we get some sort of thing going on again with trials. So just with a combination of a few little elements, you can start to make something that's kind of complicated looking. Um, it's also cool for like building logos and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, you get it. So yeah, the particles are kind of staying in place now, and we'll just IP on that again. Hopefully, uh, there we go. So we're creating some sort of monstrous looking thing. But the way we start to get something that's looking realistic-ish is for me always through a little bit of depth of field so we just go into the camera into the overrides we're going to go into depth of field this is all going to blur out like mad but we're going to bring this right down to about here and then i'm probably just going to focus get a little bit closer and i'm going to right click in the uh v-ray frame buffer i'm going to set a focus point by right clicking set focus point and i'm going to click on a point there we go we start to get this lovely blurring out in the background it's really nice, and already you've got something that's starting to look a bit professional. You know, it just takes a bit of thinking. We can click in the background there and defocus or focus in on some of these in the background here, and these are starting to blur out really nicely. Um, and you just start to get a bit of atmosphere going in there. Obviously, we can change the colours and whatever, do whatever. Um, but yeah, and obviously, if you do want to start creating all these crazy images for your Instagram profile. Um, best resolution for you is going to be uh, 1080 by 1080 that's going to give you a nice square resolution for your Instagram profile and you can start creating some madness in there and there you go hopefully that's helped guys um, so stick with me go over to myguide.com follow me on Instagram uh, as I said, that's so it's Instagram.com forward slash Phil underscore underscore Radford. Yeah. Um, or you can follow Strangebox 3D over there if you've got any projects you need to fling our way. Um, but yeah, head over to myguide.com. You will find uh, a little holding page there where you'll be able to get an early notification. So just sign up. I'll then get uh, your details and I'll be able to sell them on the black market sorry hold on to them uh, until uh, i need to let you guys know how this website's going and um yeah it's going to be sick all right as a kid say cheers guys speak to you soon